Hi there and welcome to another video for the LXL Core 3 uh, Maths A Level Syllabus. In this video we're continuing with differentiation of trig functions. In this video I'll focus on tan, cosec, sec, cot and then we'll be finished. So just to look at the scheme of work, we've done everything we need to but in this video we'll just finish off with tan x and various um, uh, uh, sums and differences with these um, items here. Okay, to start with, how would you differentiate tan x? Any suggestions or just have a thing, how you might differentiate y is equal to tan x? If you were clever enough to actually remember what tan x is, namely sine x over cos x, then what you've got is a quotient u over v and we know dy by dx uh, from the quotient rule is v u dash minus u v dash all over v squared so if i work out this it will give me the differential of y is tan x well let's state our u our u is sin x so therefore the differential of sin x u dash is cos x our v is equal to cos x and our differential of cos x v dash is negative sin x. Okay, let's stick these into this formula over here. dy by dx is therefore equal to v u dash, so cos x times cos x, subtract u v dash, so sin x times negative sin x all divided by v squared, which would be cos x all squared. Tidying this up, the top would be cos squared x plus sine squared x, because that minus and that minus make a positive, all over cos uh, squared x. Well, cos squared plus sine squared is 1. So this is 1 over cos squared x, and 1 over cos is sec, so this must be sec squared x. So if y is equal to tan x, dy by dx is equal to sec squared. So dy by dx is equal to sec squared. And that's the rule I want to write here. If y is equal to tan x, then dy by dx is sec squared x. Okay? Excellent. Now, um, I'm just going to maybe rub this out just as a second. Let's assume now we agree that that's true. If we wanted to extend uh, this rule and we wanted to say, well, actually, if y was equal to tan of some function of x, by the chain rule, dy by dx is therefore you differentiate the expression in the brackets f dashed x. You differentiate the tan and you get sec squared, but you evaluate it at uh, f of x. And that would be your differential. And so the extension of this by the chain rule is that if y is equal to tan f of x, dy over dx is f dash x sec squared f of x. Do remember, it's very important you remember this, to differentiate any trig function, the angle must be in radians. Right, let's do an example of differentiating tan x or tan of some function of x. Pause the video, have a go at the next one, check your answers against mine. Okay, part A. We are trying to differentiate y is equal to x multiplied by x tan of 2x. Now hopefully you spot this is a product of two different functions, x multiplied by tan of 2x. So we can use the product rule. And the product rule says that dy by dx, if if your function is u times v, is u v dash plus v u dash. Right, state your u. Your u is x. Your u dashed is therefore 1. Your v is tan of 2x, and therefore your v dash, differentiating this tan of f of x, you differentiate uh, your f of x inside the tan, you would get 2. You differentiate the tan, you get sec squared, you evaluate it at f of x or your 2x. 
Okay, and that is your u, your u dash, your v, your v dash. So let's write down what therefore dy by dx is, substituting in. dy by dx is therefore u v dash, so x multiplied by 2 sec squared 2x. So I can write this as 2x sec squared uh, 2x. Um, and then plus v u dash, so plus tan of 2x. And that's it. I'm done. Okay, part B. We are now, we've got the function y is equal to tan uh, to the power of 4x, which is like tan x all raised to the power of 4. You can differentiate this using the chain rule. Bring down the power of 4, multiply by the differential of tan x, which is sec squared x, and then raise your original function to one less power. So it would be tan x all cubed, or tan cubed x. Just tidying that up, that would be 4 sec squared x tan cubed x. And we're done. That is uh, that example complete. And there is your differential dy over dx, dy over dx. Okay, I'm going to move on now to um, uh, differentiating other functions, namely cosec, sec and cot. So I'm just going to show you how to do each of these. You should have an idea yourself just by the type of things I've been doing. How could I differentiate cosec? How could I differentiate y is equal to cosec? Well, if you write down that y is equal to cosec, means y is equal to 1 over sine x, i.e. y is equal to sine x to the power of negative 1. And I can do this by the chain rule. Therefore, dy by dx, you bring down the power of negative 1, you multiply by the differential of sine x, which is cos x, and you, redu and you reduce the power by 1, so it would be sine x to the power of minus 2. Okay, let's tidy this up. This would be a minus cos x on the top, and it would be over sine squared x on the bottom, which is sine x, sine x. Now, if you're a bit clever, this here, cos over sine, with a bit of luck, you'll remember sine over cos is tan, so cos over sine is cot, and 1 over sine is cosec. So this bit here, there's a hidden 1 here, 1 over sine is cosec, and it's a negative. So what you get as your answer for this would therefore be equal to minus cosec x cot x. So that would be your dy by dx. So, um, if y is equal to uh, cosec x, dy by dx must be equal to negative cosec x cot x. And that's the rule you can remember for y is equal to cosec x. There's a derivative. Let's go for sec now. Let's do the exact same thing with sec. y is equal to sec, which is 1 over cos, which is cos at x to the power of negative 1. And you differentiate this. You bring down the power of negative 1. You multiply by the differential of cos, which is negative sine. And you reduce this power by 1. This minus times this minus becomes a positive, so you'd have sine x on the top and you'd have cos squared on the bottom, which is a cos x times a cos x. With a bit of luck, you should realise that that sine over cos is tan, and the hidden one over cos is sec. So this would be equal to uh, tan x sec x. That's your dy with the x. So the general rule, if y is equal to sec x, then dy by dx is equal to tan x sec x. And we've got ourselves another one. That's another rule. You should be able to generate these. You don't have to remember all these. You can just regenerate them. And the last thing we better do is cot. How could you differentiate cot? Well, you could remember that it is actually cos over sine, cos x over sine x. And you could try and differentiate this by 
um, the quotient rule with that's your u and that's your v. So if u is cos x, what's u dashed? It's negative sine x. If v is sine x, v dashed is cos x. And you remember that dy by dx by the quotient rule is v u dashed minus u v dashed all over v squared. And it's a substitution game from this point. You just sub in at this point. So dy by dx is equal to vu dash, so it'd be sine x multiplied by negative sine x, subtract uv dash, which would be cos x, uh, cos x, all over v squared, which would be sine squared x. This here would be minus sine squared minus cos squared, which is minus 1. So this here is negative 1 over sine squared x, which is equal to negative cosec squared x. And you're done. So if y is equal to cot x, dy by dx is equal to negative cosec uh, squared x. And there you go. You've, we've got another uh, differential of a trig function. Okay, and you should be able to generate these. You may be asked in the exam to generate these. Okay, to summarise then, here are the rules we should know from this video. Here are the trig functions. Do remember one thing to bear in mind, to differentiate, all the angles must be in radians. So, if we differentiate sine x, we get cos x. Differentiate cos x, get negative sine. Differentiate tan, get sec squared. Differentiate cosec, let's go back a few slides, you differentiate cosec, you get minus cosec cot, which we got. If you differentiate sec, well, we did this one here, you get tan sec, or as I've written here, sec x tan x. And you, if you differentiate cot, you get negative cosec squared. And they are the differentials here. And do remember that they must be in radians. Just as a slight extension, I might just take a moment here. If y was actually equal to sine of f of x, some function, by the chain rule, dy by dx would be equal to f dashed x cos of f of x. And we'll do that for each of these. If y was equal to cos f of x, then dy by dx would be equal to negative f dashed x sine of f of x. If y was equal to tan f of x, not just tan x, tan f of x, then dy by dx would be equal to uh, f dashed x sec squared f of x. If y is going to run out of space, if y was equal to cosec f of x, then dy by dx would be f dashed x, the differential of cosec, which is negative, I'm going to negative cosec f of x cot f of x. I doubt it would get that complicated, but it's the differential evaluated at f of x. And if y was equal to sec x, sec f of x, sorry, sec f of x, then dy by dx would be f dashed x, the differential inside the brackets, then the differential of sec which is sec tan, but sec of f of x and tan of f of x, f of x, sorry, that should be there. And lastly, if y was equal to cot x, cot f of x, sorry, then dy by dx would be equal. You differentiate inside the cot f dashed x, you differentiate the cot and you get negative cosec squared, but you evaluate it at f of x. So just tidying it up, that would be negative f dashed x cosec squared, evaluated at f of x. Now just to point out, if you're a bit confused where these come from, it's unlikely you would get these three here, they're a bit long, but they're just applications of the chain rule. So to differentiate cosec f of x, you differentiate inside the bracket f dashed x, then you differentiate cosec, you get negative cosec cot, negative cosec cot, but you evaluate it at f of x. 
and the same for these three. And that is uh, what you need uh, in order to be able to answer these questions. Let's do an example just to tidy this up at the end. One example here, let's see if we can do these. Let's differentiate cosec 2x over x squared and then y is equal to sec cube x. Maybe pause the video, have a go, and I'll go through in five seconds. Right, A. This is a quotient, u and b. If u is equal to cosec 2x and v is equal to x squared. Clearly v dash is 2x, that's easy. What's u dash? What's the differential of cosec 2x? We're using this rule here. The differential of cosec x is minus, minus cosec um, x cot 2x. So the differential of u dash, you differentiate inside the brackets, 2. You differentiate the cosec and you get negative cosec uh, cot, but you evaluate it at 2x. So that should be a cot 2x as well. So just tighten it up. That's negative 2 cosec 2x cot 2x. And now it's just a, a game to um, substitute into the quotient rule. dy by dx by the quotient rule is vu dash minus uv dashed all over v squared. So let's sub in. v is x squared. u dashed is negative 2 cosec 2x cot 2x minus uv dash, so minus uh, uv dash, so minus 2x v dash cosec 2x all divided by v squared, which would be x to the power of 4. If we then try and tidy that up, um, it would be negative 2x squared cosec 2x cot 2x subtract 2x cosec 2x all over x to the power of 4. We could tidy this up a little bit more. We could factorise out here negative 2. We could factorise out an x. We could factorise out a cosec 2x, cosec 2x. You'd be left, left with positive x, cot 2x here. So that's a bit messy there. Positive x, factorising that out from the first term, you'd be left with a positive x, cot 2x. Um, and you'd be left with plus 1 all over x4 and one of the x's could cancel, and you get yourself negative 2 cosec 2x, x cot 2x plus 1, all over x cubed. And that is a really sort of nasty question there. Okay, um, now I'm going to do part B. I'm going to rub this out and do part B. So I'm just rubbing that out now. Pause the video if you wanted to get it down. There we go. And I'm going to do part B. And part B, uh, we've got y is equal to sec cubed x, which is sec x all cubed. We can differentiate this by the chain rule. dy by dx, bring down the 3, multiply by the differential of sec. And the differential of sec is sec x tan x using this rule here, and then you reduce the power of sec by 1, so it'd be sec x all squared. So this would turn out to be 3 sec cubed x, you've got sec x here and sec x all squared there, tan x. And you're done. That's your dy by dx. Okay, that's all for this video now. Um, I suggest you do the following just to consolidate. You read the chapter 141 to 146 and you do exercise 8H and 8I all questions. Thank you for watching.